We're 13 hours now from polls opening in the Alabama primary. Tomorrow is Super Tuesday and you will decide who will move on to the November general election. There are also a number of issues that will be decided tomorrow, including a local property tax that benefits schools. It is not a new tax and education leaders say renewing it is critical. WSFA 12 News anchor Judd Davis begins our Decision 2024 coverage. So there will be no increase to anyone's taxes. This is a renewal tax. This is not a new tax. This is something that's been on the books for about 40 years. The message is clear and consistent from education leaders in Montgomery County. They're hoping voters see it the same way and approve a property tax renewal on Election Day. For us, it's mainly focused on infrastructure, staffing, programming, and things of that nature for kids. The tax provides about $11 million a year for Montgomery City Schools and $1.2 million for Pike Road Schools. If that money is gone, they'll have to make some tough decisions. We still have to pay the light bills. Uh, we still have to secure uh, our students. We still have to ensure that our students have the textbooks and have the materials and supplies that they need. We still have to pay for the teachers. County leaders say it's really important because federal COVID relief money will expire at the end of the year. So it's important to understand that this money has had to stretch to make us solvent to do things necessary to be successful. So what does this mean for a typical Montgomery County homeowner? Well, if your home is worth about $200,000, it costs you about $6 a month. And school leaders continue to remind folks that's money you've already been paying for the last 40 years. Judd Davis, WSFA 12 News. Voters, of course, will have the final say tomorrow. Polls are open from 7 until 7.